Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jester Average YouTube, where we're going to be learning to build custom caves better than this cave, because this cave took me like 15 minutes for an example. But let's get into the basic steps. Step 1. Shape. Basically, have a shape in mind, and if you don't have a shape in mind, then there's a cool little way to get a shape in mind. And that way is dynamite. <laughs> uh, I love TNT. But anyway, if you just blast a couple of holes in the general shape you would like, you can get an interesting shape for low effort, low cost, and quickly. And it's a pretty decent looking shape if I do say so myself, and I just want it to be a bit bigger in this direction. So let's move on to step two. Step two clean up the shape a bit. Now what you're going to want to do is break away any parts that don't look good, right? Like parts you want to smoothen out, parts you want to sharpen up, like clean it up. Break off pieces, clean up pieces, make pieces sharper, but yeah, that's that. Step three is to add some details. Things like stalagmites, stalactites, water features, and other things like that. Basically, you can make stalactites like this. You can make them super tall if you want. If you want, you could break off the top, make it just too tall. In here, you can have a puddle of lava or water. I'm going to go with water because I love water features. They always look good. Like, there's almost never when water doesn't look good in a build, right? Like, so long as it's pulled off correctly, water will look good. It's just a good feature. Uh, but yeah, we just want to smooth out this pond a bit, make it look nice. And then you can, like, cut off bits here and there. Keep adding, keep smoothing as you add in details like these stalagmites or even stalactites, or stalactites on the ceiling. Now, a cool little thing you can do with stalactites, now, of course, 1.17 will add stalagmites and stalactites, but before then, you can just add a little drippy drippy using a blue glass pane, a light blue glass pane, or cyan, cyan glass pane, and you can add tons of these stalagmites. Now, you can also add, like, stalag stalagmites on the floor, uh, you can add them inside the pond, make them too tall. I like them too tall or one tall. You can even, if you would like, you can take, um, like, add a waterfall over to the side that leads into your pond. Like I said, water features look really nice, and from the right angle, that would look great. It would be a C great. Now, the cave is a bit dark, but caves are deep and dark and scary, right? That's a thing. I'm not scared of caves, you're scared of caves. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, there are a couple of other tricks you can use. For example, if we just bring a couple stalactites towards the entrance, you can even add, like, spikes on top of them using iron bars, which we can demonstrate if we add just one more right here. We can make this one a bit taller, and then just add iron bars as spikes. You can make the stalagmites or stalactites really spiky. Now, I don't really like the look of them really spiky, but they can be really cool if they're spiky if done right. If you want spiky stalagmites and stalactites, then awesome, you can have them. I'm just going to add another drippy drippy here, and boom, we've got a nice stalactite thing. Yeah. Step 4, add some detail, part 2. This one's about detailing the walls rather than putting things in. You can add mossy cobblestone and ores, or maybe just normal cobblestone, or even if you don't like the look of cobblestone, andesite. But just adding some variations into the walls, such as andesite, ores, different types of stones. Uh, if you're really brave, even like types of concrete or terracotta or even wool, whatever blocks you want, add them. Add nice looking blocks in the mix of these blocks. Now, you can even add slabs and staircases, though that can be done while cleaning up the shape. Now, see, this is a nice looking area. And this, I can add a pond here. None of this is final. That's the best part about Minecraft, is nothing you do has to be final, right? You can just do whatever you want. And you can add, you can do step one as you're doing step two, and it wouldn't be a big deal. And boom. We've got ourselves a nice little pond we wouldn't have had otherwise, and that is really beautiful. We can just keep adding in things like, over here, what if we want a little bit of moss clinging to the ceiling, or stuff like that, or just running down the walls here, and then like, oh, maybe that's a little bit too much moss, so let's add in a bit of normal cobblestone in here, rather than just moss, and then have it run up over there, or this wall looks blank, and stuff like that, in which we can just 
sort of add more things in to make it a bit less smooth, a bit less blank, and a bit more, like, detailed and... I wouldn't say necessarily detailed, but, like, not better looking, but more more of a feast for the eyes, more variety, right? More, like, you come in, there's gonna be moss on the cave walls if there's water, because moss and water, they mix. Uh, vegetation can be added if you would like, but it's not necessary. But yeah, you can add in all this stuff like this and on the walls and stuff like that. And of course, add ores. Be feel free to add ores. Ores will look great in cave walls. Diamonds, emeralds, gold. Step 5 is lighting. This one's optional. You can use torches, campfires, or lanterns. I really like lanterns the best because you can hang them from the ceiling or place them down and they just look like somebody was living here. It makes it feel lived in. Maybe a miner came in and stuff like that, but you can hang them from your stalactites too. So yeah, you could use soul lanterns to make it feel a bit more mystical. Uh, and you could do stuff like that. Another little trick for lighting is you can use trap doors or the most common, if you are on bedrock, you can use slabs, but on Java, you can't. So I will just use carpets and then you grab yourself any light emitting block and you place it down and then you place a carpet on top. Light gray, whatever color your rocks are, you can match your carpet with, and then the light will go through your carpet. You can just find little spots like this, and yeah, on Bedrock Edition, you can place uh, slabs there, but look at how much brighter it is, so you can see much better without obtrusive light blocks in the way. Now, if you're in creative mode on Bedrock, you can even use invisible lighting using light blocks, but I won't get into that. If you want, look up a tutorial online on how to get light blocks. Just use commands. But yeah, that, this is a good looking cave, right? Nice lighting, nice everything. Maybe we could add a light back here, lights over here, and we've got ourselves a nice lighting area. Caves, everything, it all looks great with the lighting. And yeah, I think it looks amazing. So we can just add a couple more ores in the walls because, yeah, just go over the steps, keep adding things, keep making it yours. Remember, this is your cave, make it how you want it, right? And step six is to enjoy. Just enjoy everything about what you have done, everything about what you have accomplished, and everything like that. So, yeah. That's your cave. But anyway, thank you for watching the video. I hope you did, in fact, enjoy the ramblings of me telling you how to build a cave. And if you did, in fact, enjoy the video, please do hit the subscribe button. It does support the channel, and we are currently on the road to 100 subscribers. We're almost there, and we can make it. But anyway, that'll be it for this one. Bowdy.